Do I have a hold allocation too, or do I just trade? Yeah, most of my capital is just held, uh, just just Bitcoin that I'm just holding, uh, and then I do have a, a small functional amount of money that I trade with uh, because I don't want to trade with too much money. Otherwise, I'd start making mistakes because I'd be scared of losing my money because. I'm human too, uh, and I've got to do things to make sure that I don't succumb to my uh, emotions and feelings. You know, one of the uh, the big things that I said on that call with the VIP early members uh, is that, you know, we're in a we're in a position where uh, in these markets, you know, we, we you really need to understand who you're trading against. Uh, you know, if you play poker, you'll sit at the table, and depending on your skill level, you'll be playing around people that are similar skill levels, right? If you're playing for money, if you're playing with friends, obviously it can be different. But if you're playing for money, generally the skill tables are around the same. You know, you get the little shitty casinos with a one pound buy-in, and they're going to have a certain you know tier, certain skill level of player. And then you go to a ten thousand dollar table in Hong Kong, and it's going to be a different. It's going to be a different story, right? There's going to be a different skill level. So you can kind of like compete at your level in a sense. Um, and, and, and trading and poker are very similar, right? Good traders are generally good poker players and vice versa, usually the opposite way around, actually. And uh, and what's important to note about that is uh, is, is trading is different in, in, in terms of the skill level. Uh, you know, when you're trading, you're jumping in, you're signing up to Binance or Bybit or whatever the case may be for the first time. You may have zero experience trading, but you're not trading against people that are as inexperienced as you. I need to really make this point super, super hard for you guys, especially those of you that have been losing money or that haven't been performing particularly well right now in this market because you should have made a lot of money on this move like i mean you know this this was a good move this was a healthy move the ta i mean with the exception of what happened in the last few days the ta has been respected very well the charts have been really accurate everything has been good everything's been what we need as traders and if you've still fucked this up you've got some real thinking to do because you're missing like this is where the money is made and if you're still not making money right now uh you know you've really got to think carefully about what you're doing and a lot of people they fall into this trap where here's the thing right we talk about the skill levels in this game Poker, okay, you're all at the same uh, same skill level, whatever. Uh, you know, it, it, it's it, it's it's doable. You can play, you can get better. Uh, as a trader, you are, regardless of your skill level, playing against the top dogs. Uh, you know, you're, you're, the, the people that are going to outsmart you are the people that are sitting in high-rise skyscrapers in New York City or in beautiful mansions on the coast of California, uh, you know, who've already made their $50 million, uh, you know, or their $700 million or whatever, and they've got all the, uh, the, the, you know, the fancy indicators available to them. And, crucially, they're not idiots. All right. They don't overtrade. They don't trade with emotion. They don't do stupid things that normal traders do. They don't do stupid things that you guys who are watching this channel have been doing that I've done. They don't pile on, uh, you know, long positions with retail necessarily 100% of the time. They're not the guys that, you know, turn bullish at every resistance level and bearish at every support level. These are the guys that have their head screwed on, that don't overtrade, that don't trade out of emotion. When they lose money, they don't start losing their shit and revenge trading and then making it worse and entering a spiral of depression. These are the guys that understand the game. They have the TA skills, they have the psychological skills to not make stupid mistakes, and you are losing your money to them. You know, so why on earth you would come to these exchanges, not know what you're doing, trade aggressively, thinking the more buttons I click, the more money I'm going to make is beyond me. Right? Like, if you're losing money at times like this, or if you're not making the right calls, you need to understand who you're trading against. You're just giving, like, just burn your fucking cash, mate. Just just get a lighter and burn your cash notes if you're, you know, if you want to, like, it's going to achieve the same thing. You might even get more satisfaction out of it. You'd have more fun than watching yourself actually lose money on an exchange, which is a depressing experience and something that none of us like. This is a really, really important note that people don't seem to understand. You know, you, you're, you're not trading against idiots. <laughs> you know, you are the idiot. If, if you're making mistakes like this, you're the guy that fur coat jacket. Yeah, exactly. I wish I had that jacket right now. You are the guy that smart patient people are making money out of at times like this. You really need to keep this thing in mind, right? Like not trading is a good thing. You know, when I was on that call with VIP members, what I said to them was one of the reasons my success rate is where it is. And one of the reasons that I make the money I make is because I don't lose money. It's because when I lose money, my losses are controlled. They're capped at 10%. They're capped at 20%. I wear a fucking seatbelt. I have a stop loss. That's what I call my stop loss. I call it a seatbelt. You know, I'm always wearing my seatbelt, right? So I'm always protected. I'm not unnecessarily losing money. I'm limiting my losses and I'm letting my winners run. You know, we go back to what I said earlier on in the live stream. If you're just tuning in, by the way, rewind and come back to the beginning because this whole video has been super relevant here. Uh, you're not going to miss out on anything. Uh, you can watch it on 2x speed and just catch up. But, uh, you know, what I was uh, what I was saying about my long position is like at the same time, I haven't had a reason to get out of my long position. So I got to let my winners run, right? Like I'm not going to be able to pay for my losses. I'm not going to be able to be a sustainable trader that stays in the green if I don't let my winners make me money. You know, so I'm just following 
basic principles, really basic stuff that you learn in, in $7 books, uh, books that you can get for free if you type it into Google. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not reinventing anything. I'm not coming up with any revolutionary ideas. I'm just buying when the price is low and I'm scaling off, uh, you know, scaling out when the price is high. You know, and I'm warning you guys when we're starting to reverse and when people are turning bullish late, that that's generally what happens when the market needs to keep trending down, at least for a little bit. You know, this is nothing groundbreaking. We're sticking to basic stuff here. We're not overanalyzing. I'm not sitting in front of my computer all day trying to look for trading setups. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to come. And then I'm quietly going over there, picking up the cash and returning back to my seat. That's it. No drama, no hassle. That's the way you trade. That, that's what real trading is. Real trading is that. Real trading is you do the rest of your stuff in your real life. You go out on that waterfall hike. You go take your kids out or whatever. You take your girl out on a date. You hit the gym, you live your life, and you're just waiting. You've set your price alerts, you're waiting for these price levels to break, and you've already got a plan if the price moves up, you've already got a plan if the price moves down, uh, and you're just waiting to execute that. And in between, you're running your business, you're, 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 you're working your job. <sighs> Breathe. Yes, I'm breathing. I'm breathing. I'm chilling. I'm chill but you, know, you know what I mean? Like This is important stuff. And this is the time where people are going to pay attention. You're not going to pay attention when you know, you've made money. Right? If I told you this stuff up here, would you listen to me? No. Obviously not, you know, but you're going to listen to me when you've just gotten fucked trading this wick, you know, so like it, it, it's about like, you know, you got to hear the right things. You got to hear them at the right time. I only learned these lessons when I lost money. That's how it worked for me. So, uh, you know, and that's how it works for more people. Drink more coffee. You guys are going to uh, not be able to keep up with me if I drink any more coffee today. I just care about you guys. You should be grateful. Yeah, of course I care about you guys. I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't. I want you guys to be uh you know to, to be the traders that uh, that that make money uh you know because otherwise what does that say about my youtube channel so uh you know i take pride in this and and that's why it's important to me even though you speak fast i can only understand half of it